Hello, welcome to part four of the mystery quilt, that garden quilt. Um, and you can download the pattern if you, um, if you haven't been doing so on my website on gourmetquilter.com under mystery quilts. Um, and we're, so we're well into the quilt now, growing our garden. We're on part four and we've got another panel to applique this month. So this time we've got some absolutely delicious poppies. And I must say, a very nosy little worm has been popping his head up down there. And as well as that, a cheeky dragonfly that's floating around up here. So I haven't done any of the stitching on this yet. I've uh, just got my pieces all fused on um, using these lovely oak shot fabrics. I just love the way the colours are shot through. It just gives it a real, I don't know, gleam or something. The colours are so nice. Um, so on your pattern that you can download, it's going to be all the shapes for your applique, um, an outline of the panel that we're appliquing this time, uh, and also as well as that, we're going to be cutting out some other shapes, um, and we're going to be doing another applique. So again, the diagram for the applique is there, and so what we're going to do is taking our panels from last month, the panel that we did last month was the one with the roses on, and we had already joined up parts one and two and put the pod on. So this time we're going to be joining last month's panel, not this month's, last month's panel on to the, your left, onto the, uh, the one with the birdhouse on it. Again, join it with your quarter inch seam allowance, press the seams open, and then we're going to put, do this applique over the top of that. So this is a really long stem that goes right up covering that seam and because I'm using smaller pieces of fabric I don't have a stem that's long enough. I've got one quite a long one but it's not long enough so by the time I pop that all the way up the seam and then I still need to come up quite a long way and I'm so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to fuse an overlap and as I'm stitching the applique because it's such a small amount it's only a quarter of an inch there's barely an eighth of an inch left without any stitching on so I don't think there'll be any problem if I just fuse that over the top. So that's how I'm going to do my really long stem and uh, these flowers or actually they're really a little bit like mini pods like a big pod but small. Um, so I've been using these little mini grip bags to keep my pieces in so I don't lose them because I have to say that gardens do like to spread themselves around. So I've got my little shapes in here and uh, as you can see we've got there's like the bigger pod but much smaller there's the center and then another piece with the center bit cut out so this is going to be my top one there's some smaller ones for the next ones down and so it goes on these other shapes so the pattern will show you that and there's a couple of little twiddly leaf bits to go on there as well so as I haven't done any sewing yet I'm off to stitch and I'll come back and show you how it looks when I've got that hello so here I've been busy busy stitching and I've managed to get my panel for this month done. So I've got my poppies here with this nosy little worm and I've got up the top I've got the dragonfly who's uh, just happy hovering around in this garden environment. And I've also managed to get the other colourway done as well. So we've got that on that light background. Again we've got the dragonfly and the nosy worm and those lovely luscious poppies happening in that garden. So nice to see this garden growing. I quite like this kind of gardening. I'm not a gardener of the real type, but this way the garden grows. Everything grows as I want it to. It grows in the colours I like and doesn't need watering and it doesn't die. Anyway, so I've joined together my panels as we talked about and I've done the applique that goes over that join in the panel. So you can kind of see that here. Um, this is the one that I'm doing with those um, lovely shot fabrics from Oakshot and I'm doing the straight stitch applique. So when you do something like this the stem was very long. Remember we talked about perhaps overlapping the stem which I've done. Um, the little leaves get put on first so the stem comes over the top and these stems all come out from underneath that main stem. So that main stem would probably be the last bit you'd put on. And these little mini pods and everything gets stitched around and it's all sitting quite comfortably in there. So I'll just quickly show you that in the other colourway just to give you another idea of colours. This one I'm using much more 
variety of fabrics, some printed ones, some plain. Um, again, the drawing in my backgrounds, I'm alternating with different colours on this one, so you can get a bit of an idea of a little bit more sort of movement of colour behind as well. And they, they could all be different, but perhaps sort of similar depth of colour behind, um, so that they don't uh, contrast too much with what you're putting on top. But all my bits and pieces that I'm using from my scrap stash are coming up nicely. I'm really pleased with the way that's coming up. And uh, like I said, this garden behaves itself just as it should. So that's it for this part. So come back next month and we'll start on part five. Thank you.